Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. It's a glorious day again and that means one thing and that is that you've just got to get outside. That fresh air, being in the green, is so good for so many different things. So if you're trying to find an excuse, just find that excuse to get outside. I know that was super preachy, but hey, it's a glorious day. Uh, and if you can get outside, you really should do. So I thought I'd come out, do some filming on the Ghost Sling Pro from Alpaca. Um, I've been looking at Alpaca's gear for quite some time now and just trying to find the perfect one that I thought, a lot of the time with a lot of different companies, it's a, now that's the one. And I'd seen, the Ghostling Pro before and they just decided, as they do, you'll find with Alpaca that what they do is they have certain short runs um, where they change some of the material up or change slightly something about it and make a limited edition. This is the forest green version of it, which is one of their limited edition versions and I saw it and it was just a, that is the one for me. Um, so I took the plunge and I'm really happy that I did it. Stop the, stop it right there, you know, Morlander says it's, it's great, he's really happy with it. There's the review all done and dusted. Um, so we'll, I'll turn the camera around so we can have a little bit more at this. If at any point you do enjoy this or like this, then please feel free to hit the like and let's have a look at the Alpaca Ghostling Pro. Okay, so as we usually do, we'll go around the outside of the bag and the materials dimensions, and then we'll have a look at the inside. So um, straight off the bat, this is made from VX21, which is uh, an X-Pack material. Now, if you're new to X-Pack, X-Pack is, um, well, you know, it's, it's referred to as the sailcloth material because this was designed uh, in Germany uh, and manufactured in America to be used on sailboats. Um, it's very tough. It's it, the the properties of the material and the fibres that are in here stops it from getting ripped very easily. As you, you know, you could imagine that there is a lot of stress um, torsion on that in the um, if it was on a on a ship. Um, so it makes it very good for that. It's also the different fibres that are interlaced into this. Um, I think if I remember rightly, it's, it's very similar to Gore-Tex where you've got say um, different layers of fabrics, uh, or at least different layers of fibres and one of the fibres in there is Kevlar so again you know it makes it very strong. Um, this is one of the limited edition versions so this is the forest green version um, and do you know, I, I like the black version, but I saw this, I like green, I like blue, I like grey. Um, and I was like, yeah, I have to have this one. Um, so it's X-Pack all the way throughout, especially on the outside. Uh, on the top here, this is where you have the zips into the main section. All of the zips on here for, for extra confidence are one, AquaGuard zippers, and two, they are lockable zippers. So all of the zips have these small eyes. On there so that they can be uh, locked if needs be and you can see here on this front pocket as well there is a small zip here on the back into this um, secluded section that you can put stuff into as well if you choose to on the sides all of the sides are flush there's there's, there's nothing on there you may have seen this here so we, but we will come back to that in a second the bottom again it's very clean very minimal bottom same on the side here and then on the back which I suppose we might as well do this bit first. On the back, um, you have another piece of here. Now, I'm not too sure what this is. It feels like 1000 D Cordura. I mean, it might not actually be Cordura. It might be some sort of ballistics nylon, um, but this is very tough. Um, as this is the bit that will be on your body, um, I can imagine just for extra I suppose confidence that, that this material is tough, which I don't, 
see the point, but you know, it's it's there just in case, but the X-Pack would have done just as well, but you've got this extra material on the back here, and then there is another pass-through. Um, so if you are using this to travel with, you can put this on your luggage um, so that you can, you can, I don't know, stow it away if needs be. It's also pretty useful to grab uh, if, if you need to grab it as well. But there is another zipped off section here on the back, which again, you know, we'll have a look at in a second. So on the front, other than that actually, um, the only bit of branding on here is this um, little leather patch um, that has the alpaca uh, name and a, a little alpaca on there as well. So I'm going to call this front section, I'm going to call this the quick access section because this is great for just being able to throw stuff into if you need to. So. Um, oh, I've not mentioned dimensions. So it actually runs 28 centimeters by 17 centimeters by 11 centimeters deep. So it's actually quite a good size for an EDC sling. Um, and the volume of that is roughly about five and a half liters. If I was to guess, I don't know the exact um, split between the two, but I'd say the main section here that you could put the most into, this is probably the five liters. And then you've got an extra half liter here on the front. Now, um, on this front section, the first thing hopefully that you'll notice is the is the difference between the outside green and the inside orange. And that was, a lot, when I first saw this, I was like, yes, because I, I, I really do like the difference between the two there. Um, but this uses a uh, 210D ripstop nylon on the inside. Um, and it's nice and, and high-vis as well. So what you have in this pocket here at the front, on the front side of here, there is a small zip section. So if you did have maybe, I don't know, an alpaca uh, zip pouch, that fits perfectly into that front section here. So it's just extra stowaway if needs be. There is also a little label in there. So this is the alpaca, um, and you can see as well, you know, just to make sure you're definitely 100% sure this is the limited edition version of the Ghost Sling Pro. Um, and then there are two, uh, two meshed off sections here as well. I know you can put you can put a lot of stuff into here. The mesh in this, rather than just being a static mesh, um, it is like a four-way stretch mesh, which is great. You can fit really a lot into those. The last little thing on here, if anybody watched my um, my live feed a few weeks, or at least this time last week, I, I, I called this the gateway drug, and I hope Alpaca don't mind me uh, referring to their products as drugs, but um, what you have is this little magnetic fidlock. So what this does is you can attach anything to this, probably keys in this situation, uh, and it, it, it just won't pull off. The only way that you can pull this off is this um, this little tab here. It feels like Hyperlon, it might be some sort of plastic nylon or something, um, but it's nice and tough, but the only way that you can pull this off is by pulling this. And what this does is it disengages the magnet from the top so that you can then take your keys. Um, now the reason that I refer to this as the gateway drug is, you get this one free of charge, um, however there is a, a, a whole line of products that Alpaca do that you can attach these to and there are also other products that you can attach onto this as well like um, there's like a, a lanyard style uh, ID card, uh, there's a wallet, there's extra keys, that, that sort of stuff. So I think what they're trying to do is give you this one for free so that you'll be very impressed. And it really is impressive. I mean, if, if you try to pull it off by the keys itself, it, it just doesn't come off. You have to pull it by this top bit. Um, so this is the gateway drug into the rest of their um, fidlock systems but I, mean, I, I like the fact that they included that for free so you get one of those another thing that comes it doesn't come with this but you have these daisy chains on the straps um, so what you can do is you can get a clip that goes onto these in fact accessorize me just did a video um, about summer accessories and in that video you'll be able to see that the clip is in there so go and check out accessorize accessorize me's latest content and you'll be able to see exactly how this works you can clip it onto here and then you can have your keys and things um, so that they will they'll they'll fit as well uh, so that's this front section now 
the, the easy access pocket isn't ambi open, so you get two zips on there to make sure whether you're left-handed or right-handed, depending on which side of your body you carry it on, you've got full access to it. Now on the back, this is the main section. This is where you're gonna be able to fit the vast majority of your stuff, and I'm just gonna peel that open like that so that we can see a little bit closer inside. Now, hopefully, if you check out the Alpaca website, you'll see that they really do show this off as a, a, a tech accessory style pack. So you can put in here um, a full size Nintendo Switch. You can fit in your uh, a small point, uh, point and go kind of camera. You can fit in your headset. You know, there's, there's lots of things that you can fit in here and hopefully as I mentioned, you know, this, this is that main five litre capacity. So I've got the tactical teddy bear that comes everywhere with me. I've got an extra um, med kit just in case. There is also a battery, um, which will make a little bit more sense in the moment. But you know, it's always great to carry a battery with you wherever you go. Um, and then if I butterfly this open like that, hopefully you'll be able to see it's all fleeced lined. Now this fleece lining, actually has a dual purpose. If it is that you do carry camera equipment in here, what you can do is with this is you can actually use partitions to be able to um, section off different sections. Now what I do is, when I'm not using those, um, here in the back, which I'll show you again in a second, you have these, you have these extra um, hook and loop partitions. So what you can do is, you can put these into the bag and what that will do is, one, it will give you some volume so that it doesn't, I was gonna say crush then, crush isn't a bad word. Um, it won't fold in and then if you want to put specific things in different sections, maybe you've got a camera that you want to fit into there, Maybe you're just a mum or a dad and you want to have some wipes in there, you want to have uh, a bottle in there, you know, let, let's face it, this can be used for lots of different things and it wasn't too long ago when I was carrying around extra milk bottles and things like that, so it's very good for that sort of stuff, you know, it's great to be able to walk around and be super techy and, and have a Nintendo Switch in here, but let's face it, there are other things that we will carry instead, but these these are super useful. Um, what I do find is though that because this adds, it doesn't really add volume to it, but it adds a certain rigidity to it. So when these aren't in use, there is an extra little pocket here in the back. Now, um, on the Alpaca website, you'll see that this is where you can fit in a full-size Nintendo Switch. There's a little extra little keeper in there, just in case you're running around. I've got a little notebook in there, but you know, it's roughly the same size of a Nintendo Switch. Um, and then you've got the more high-vis lining at the back. But what I find is that when these aren't in use, these fit perfectly here in the back. The, um, the soft felt, that the hook and loop attaches to is here and all in this front section, whereas this back section is just completely full of high-vis lining. So being able to put these in there, there's nothing in there that the hook and loop, or at least the hooks will attach to, um, so that you can you, you can just keep them around and they, they just stay in there and it, they're, they're nice and quiet. Um, the only extra little thing in here, you know, there's a little tab with some alpaca branding on there and then there is a small garage on this side. Hopefully you can see that there with a cable coming out of it. Now, why would there be a little cable coming out of it? This is where we get back to the charger. Now here I have a USB charger that connects onto this, goes back into my bag I close my bag up and I just go about my daily chores, you know, I'm on a, oops, sorry about that, I'm on a city break, I'm commuting, I'm sat on a train, I'm sat on a bus, I'm sat on a taxi, I realise that my mobile phone is out of juice and I need to top up some battery. And this is where this ingenious little fob on the side comes in. So I have with me an extra cable which plugs in to the bottom here. 
and then if I'm out and about I can charge whatever it is that I'm that I'm out with that is a great idea what they've doubled up on the idea with this is hopefully you can see how thick this is but there's also some clips here on the side so if I pull these open so that it opens up when this butterflies out there is a sim card key in there just in case you need to swap sim cards and below is two ports that you can put additional sim cards or micro sd cards into if you need to as extra storage so you're traveling maybe you're in a few different continents you need to have a european sim card a north american sim card and uh, a chinese sim card maybe that's the one that's in your phone you, you travel between all of those that's a great idea that's that is multifunctional and i think works particularly well on the back as already mentioned you know you have this section here and then there is an additional pocket so if you are traveling around you want to keep something secure in here maybe you have an old family heirloom that you like to keep with you just in case every, all of your other communication stops working you can put it in this little slip pocket at the back um, this is brilliant for traveling um, I've, seen, <laughs> I've seen a couple of EDC as um, mentioning this for travel so if you are traveling and you know you're worried about being pickpocketed or, or just being mugged people are starting to carry two wallets one so that you can go here there's my wallet go away the rest of it stays in the back here um, which i think is a great idea one of the other things that they also have is one of these little push key fobs so that you can take it off and when your keys are back on there you can snap that back on and then you're all ready to go now the last thing to talk about really is the suspension system so rather than being uh, a symmetrical carry where the attachments are uh, halfway down either side they are completely at the top so you know we've again i've discussed this at length in the past but this does not want to rotate on your body it fits perfectly to make sure that when you've got it it fits flat against your back the straps, the straps can be removed and rotated. Uh, the way in which you do this, which I think again is a very another great way to do it. So you have a Velcro tab that comes across. There is another Velcro tab that goes the opposite direction and then you can slide these out. So if you did want to have it just as a go bag, you know, you can use this here on the back to throw it around. Um, if you didn't want to have it with the straps I mean it would make more sense to keep it with the straps but if you wanted to take them off you could do but you put it through cinch it over do the same in the opposite direction and then that's on the straps themselves or at least the um, the padded sections you have a smaller section on one side and a longer section on the other side um, on the longer section there are there is a daisy chain of loops here so you have one two three loops these are all secured on box stitched at the end which is very very well done this thing looks uh, genuinely bomb proof uh, and on the opposite side you have just uh, one daisy chain the main reason for this is that when you uh, pull this round so that it's, it's on your chest which we'll have a look at in a second it means that all of these daisy chains are right there so that if you do want to attach anything to these it brings them round into a position that they are easy to get to the last little thing on here is you have um, the ratchet system to get this tight. I've seen this on a few other bags. I think it's used very well here, but you have two D-rings. There's one here and there's one here. If you want to loosen it, you pull on this D-ring and then pull the bag and you'll see that that ratchet slid over. And if you want to tighten it, you just pull that and then it tightens it. When it's on, the friction for both of these makes it super secure so it, it's it's not going to slip it's not going to come undone um, but being able to undo it very quickly being able to adjust it it's it is very useful there is um, a clip and it uses another one of these mag locks this is super fidgety you know you, it slides open which is super easy to do um, but when it's on there it, it, it just it just doesn't come undone you, you have to you have to slide it like that for it to come off and now as far as how does it carry well hopefully as you'd expect for a sling bag it carries very well 
Um, I've gone into this quite a lot, especially last week, uh, was it last week or the week before when I talked about the, the, the Victos upscale. Um, a lot of it comes to the geometry of, of how it sits on your body and whether it wants to rotate. The way that this sits, it wants to sit flat against your body, which certainly helps in one aspect, and that is, as you're walking around, it wants to slip, or a lot of sling bags want to slip. But what I've found with this one is, that because it, it because naturally it wants to sit flat against your body, it doesn't slip as much. Now, you might find after a while, instead of going from the flat of your back, it kind of comes around to your, your lat here on the side, but that's that really is as far as it goes. It, it, it's not one of those that after a while, you know, wants to sit naturally against your side under your armpit. When it's on the front here, it sits really well. Because you have this, um, this uh, padded bit here, it comes around onto your shoulder and that hugs your shoulder. I think this is another ingenious way in which this has been used because when it's here on the front, that bit, like I say, hugs your shoulder so it, it wants to stop it from turning around. Because it has that, th that flatness, it just wants to sit perfectly on your chest. When it's underneath here, this bit again holds on to the onto your under torso area here, which again stops it from wanting to rotate. But being able to grab it, you just put, grab it, pull it around, and it's there. Now with these daisy chains, if you do choose to use those and you have some of those clips on there as well, it's here, you can unclip things, you can do whatever you choose, or you can get into your bag, or when it's here those daisy chains are now here so that you can take them off or you can use any of those accessories from Alpaca if you choose to uh, with the Ghost Sling Pro. Now as far as how does it fare as a sling bag, it's really good. <laughs> hey, it's great. It, it, it's got a great feel to it. Um, you get those sling bags that after a while they tend to slip or want to slip under your armpit. I find with this, whether it's because of this, and if that is the reason that this is here, then hey, you know, I, I, again, I, I certainly doff my cap uh, to Alpaca if this is the reason that that's there. But I find after a bit of walking that it, I mean, it slips. I think no one, unless you have a, a, one of those, a, a stabilizer strap, um, it, it's just, it's just what sling bags do. They do tend to slip. But what I find with this one is, you can get it in the perfect angle. It's very easy to be able to, to change that strap so that you can get it just right. And it, it, it does, it fits on your back. It, it, again, you know, it, it lies very flat across your back. Maybe that's, maybe that's part of the reason why certain sling bags don't slip. It's the geometry in which they 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 fit on your back, um, and th and this is like that, you know. It it fits very flat against your back, and it it, it doesn't slip. I probably over egged the uh, the lily again, a little bit too uh, over gilded the lily. Sorry, um, but it, it's great for that. Bringing it round to the front, it sits very well as well. It's very easy to get into. All of the all of the zips and the placements of each of the packs, is, uh, the compartments is great. This little um, charging port here at the bottom is worth its weight in gold. Um, I was just about to say something different then, but you know, I haven't used it all that much. But as I say, you know, that's because at the moment I've not been traveling a lot with work, but when I certainly start traveling a lot with work, just to be able to plug something in, even if it's walking around a city that you don't know, your mobile phone's on low, you've got Google Maps open trying to find stuff you're worried about, it charging, being able to tether it to your bag whilst doing stuff, uh, to have it charging is, is certainly gonna come in handy. Um, plus with the extra security that the X-Pack material gives you, you know, this is incredibly slash proof. If somebody went at it, you know, there's, it's not going to stop people from getting in. But if it is a, a an ad hoc, quick snatch and grab kind of thing, um, it does give you a lot of protection. And I just generally think it's a great thing. Um, 
I know certainly from some of the comments that I've had on Instagram when people have been looking at this, there's there's been a lot of people talking around um, value for money. They are on the more expensive side, but I think when it comes to the materials that are in here, the mag locks, the, the plastics, the AquaGuard zippers, I think that the value that they have attributed to these is equal to the value of the materials that are in this. So I definitely say that that is relative to the price. Um, I've also now seen that a lot of comments of people are asking mainly around that purely because um, Alpaca are in Australia and getting them over to the UK. There'll be import duties. There'll also be postage as well um, And it is definitely well worth The extra cost of having them sent here to the UK until there is a, a UK supplier uh, to, to, to get those I certainly don't regret making this purchase um, There is always something that I get to at the end. Is there something that I would change or is there anything that I would change? Unfor Why did I say unfortunately? That makes it sound like a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. This pack is an 11 out of 10 if I was to give it, if I use the marking system. However, I'm bumping it down to 10.999 recurring because of the zips. I love the zips. The zips are great. I like the fact that you can lock them. I like the fact that they're AquaGuard. The only downside is... They're very loud. I will be, I've left this as it arrived purely because I wanted to show you it in its entirety out of the box. I'll be clipping these little zipper pulls off and adding some of my own zipper pulls to those. Um, like I say, it's just something for me. I, I, I do like the bag and it's, it's not detracted anything from it, but I do find that they're just very jangly. If I was alpaca already, I already know that they, are, they also use these ring pulls. Now these are for wallets, which you know, you're not going to be pulling on these too hard. But if, you, if they could use something like this rather than these, but still have that lock on there, I think that would be great. That would take this... I mean, it's already next level, it's, it's, a, it's a great pack, but I think that would just, that would be the icing on the cake. I mean, it's already iced, but it would make it the best ice. That was a rubbish analogy, but hopefully you'll get the point, so yeah. Now what I'll do is I will leave some links in the description below, as I usually do, uh, so that you can check out Alpaca, you can see more from them. Uh, I'll leave links to the website and social media pages, all of that sort of stuff. None of those are affiliate links, um, unfortunately, but you know, that's cool. I, I'd like to be able to pass you on to those so that you can see those. There'll be some of my links as well, social media links, if you'd like to see more from me. You'll be able to see more of this sort of stuff that I'm testing out behind the scenes so that you can see what's, uh, what's going to arrive. Slight extra point, and thank you to Triple Byte for mentioning this. It was something I've been thinking about, but I'm starting to create a Discord server uh, for Moreländer EDC. It's not gone live yet, mainly because I just want to put enough in there so that people can go get talking and we can start to build that community. But hopefully, in the next maybe the next month or so I'll be launching the uh, Moreland EDC Discord server to help to build this community with my fellow Moorlanders and everyone so that we can we can share more we can talk more um, and yeah really it's more about that community side I'd, I'd like to be able to build that community so that we can we can certainly interact more often so that, that that'll be there as well um, so cool that's a little bit coming up as well don't forget if I manage Wednesday should hopefully be making some content on this as well but for now stay safe stay Moorlander and stay EDC.